question is from Tom Blinksell. Thanks, Tony. Uh, my question is to Dr Stone. Um, in the 2013 election, the coalition built their campaign around a supposed broken promise um, by Julie Gillard on the carbon tax. Um, in addition to this, both Tony Abbott and Joe Hockey personally confirmed that there would be no new taxes if elected. Um, is the proposed increase in fuel excise, so I believe of up to 3%, um, generating up to $1 billion a year, uh, does this constitute a broken promise? Shannon or, Stone. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, or is it simply, does it pass the, pass the test on a technicality um, based on a, a much needed measure of a so-called budget emergency? Yep, Shannon Stone. I think, Tom, we get too carried away in Australia with the media as to uh, the words of the day. I remember being accused of calling, um, you know, uh, Tony Abbott a liar and Erica Betts a liar and Joe Hockey a liar. Well, I define anyone to find the transcript where I actually did that. Uh, but what you need to understand... One of the things, Warwick, that really upsets me most, I guess, the federal government didn't say, look, we'd love to help, but we just don't have the money right now, or can we help in some other way? What they said was, we're not going to help because it is the amazing wages and conditions that have knocked this company for six. And that is just wrong. That is not true. If I was in parliament, I couldn't say liar because it's unparliamentary, but it's just not true. You have not just me saying that, but you have the Productivity Commission that look carefully, as you know, at an emergency safeguard action. And they concluded that wages and conditions weren't the issue. It was the dumping, the massive increase in imports, the terrible floods and uh, 10 years of drought, Coles, Woolworths strategies that they can impose because of them are not a duopoly. It was all those things. And I have to say, even today in the media, uh, I'm looking at a list here of apparent crimes that the unions commit against the owners, SPCA, in the name of special deals. Those listed are just rubbish. So this is a witch hunt. I, sorry, I don't like witch hunts, which are all unfair and in this case could lead to us losing an industry. So you think your Prime Minister Tony Abbott and Treasurer Joe Hockey are actually really lying when they're, when they're saying it's about this issue? Well... They're not speaking the reality. The so that's lying? <laughs> unparliamentary language lying. Um, it's not the truth. That's right, it's lying. And the independent panel, their own independent pal panel, I understand, recommended that this industry be supported. A one-off payment, just $25 million, an investment in capital and equipment with a lot of conditions attached, not for salaries, not for air conditioning, not for redundancy payments, just for the retooling, the new capital to match their new innovative products.